Derrick Rose returned and is ready to head overseas to represent America in the 2014 FIBA World Cup. Rose and the USA squad closed out their stateside exhibition schedule Friday night with a win. The story now, though, is that we know who will board the plane Saturday for Spain. Rose and Steph Curry headline the backboard, while Damian Lillard was one of the last four not to make the cut. And with that, we welcome you to game time, in-depth coverage of the WNBA playoffs still to come. A combined four Olympic gold medals with us on this edition. It is Katie Smith, also the fourth all-time leading scorer in WNBA history. Steve Smith, I'm Jared Greenberg. The intention, Steve, has always been to field the best team, not necessarily get the best players on the roster. Is that goal been accomplished? Well, you look at it, I think what the players left is, I, I think USA got the best roster they feel they can go over there and represent the United States the best. And you feel bad for the four guys because you come out and play hard and you knew four guys had to be cut. Um, congratulations to all the guys who made it. And there's no slight on the four guys who didn't make it. They're obviously unbelievable players. Damian Lillard, Kyle Corver, Gordon Hayward, uh, and also Chandler Parsons. Uh, now, Coach K and also Jerry Colangelo gets a chance to get this roster together, but you said it best. They still have chance if something happens, they can still make changes to the roster because the date is? August 29th there is you when go. FIBA requires the final roster to be cut down to 12, so obviously anything can change it between now and then. Uh, Katie, with your international playing experience, how difficult is it for these guys, especially a guy like Damian Lillard, who had just been assumed would, would make this roster? It's tough because it's it's not always about your ability and how well you played in the in the training or in the, in the games. Sometimes it just comes down to they're looking ahead against Spain. What do we need to beat them? All right, what do we need to beat these guys? Do we need another big body? So sometimes, of course, you take it personally because it's you and your, your skill set, but it sometimes has nothing to do with how you played. It might just be a need that USA Basketball felt. Well, you mentioned preparing for Spain. Many people project Spain and USA to meet up in the gold medal game. So Lillard's out. All the bigs are making the trip. Is that a formula to be able to beat Spain? Is that why we see this roster built the way it has been? Well, you want to have an extra big body because when you started talking about this, the names offhand that we all know, Serge Ibaka, Marc Gasol, and Paul Gasol. And those guys are capable of getting guys in foul trouble. So you want to have an extra big. When you start talking about Anthony Davis, we understand he's one of the best big men that we have, but he's not a guy with a lot of girth. And he plays kind of on the perimeter, and also a little bit inside, but you have a DeMarcus Cousins and Drummond, the big bodies. Kenneth Fareed is a guy with a spark plug. You look at him as a front court player, but not tall in stature. Plays extremely hard, and I think the Damian Lillard spot probably goes to Mason Plumlee because they wanted to keep it extra, extra big. Remember when camp started in Vegas, Mason Plumlee was on the select team. If Derrick Rose can't play 100% all these games, which starts off with five games in the first six days, potentially nine games in 16 days, does this team have the right complement, Smitty, to go with one man down or limited with Rose in certain games? Well, I think I don't think Derrick Rose will be limited. I think you, you look at it as not a lot of players are going to play over 25 minutes anyway. So it's only a 40-minute game. Yes, and you have Kyrie Irving, Stephen Curry, and you also have James Hardy who can take the responsibility of playing that point guard position. I mean, Derrick Rose is going to play some minutes, and we understand is that you know, you need him to win the most important games, and you're looking down to where you see him play the last two exhibition games. He didn't play against Dominican Republic, but in Chicago and against Puerto Rico, Derrick Rose is fine. He's ready to go. Well, one final note on that roster, you'll notice the most recent addition, Rudy Gay. He was kept on the roster and will travel with the team. Of course, he was a late ad because the injury to Paul George and Kevin Durant leaving the team.